ZBrush 2019 is here and with it a host of new features to check out. I'm Foligon and in this video we'll be taking a look at the new Spotlight 2.0 and Snapshot 3D tools added to ZBrush 2019. Snapshot 3D is a new modeling tool that essentially allows you to extrude and create geometry from an alpha. This tool is being appended to the Spotlight tool, which I use all the time, and there are a host of new additions to that as well. You can now directly paint and create masks, and you can combine and boolean subtract masks from one another. There's a lot of room here for creating some complex shapes very quickly. Let's hop on over to ZBrush and look at how the tool works. Let's begin here by looking at how to activate Spotlight and navigate within the tool. You can turn on Spotlight up in your texture palette by importing an image and clicking Add to Spotlight. You can import multiple images this way, or we can use one of the presets under Lightbox Spotlight, which is exactly what we're going to be doing for this demonstration. This preset has a bunch of different alphas that we will be using. You can also create and save your own presets under Texture, Save Spotlight. The first thing that you probably want to know is that you can show and hide the Spotlight tool by pressing Shift-Z. And you can pull up the Spotlight wheel by pressing the Z key by itself. And then once you have that pulled up, you can click and drag to move all your images around at once. Or you can click individual images to move them one at a time. Some of the most used options in here will be Scale and Opacity, as well as the Snapshot 3D button, which will be the focus of our demonstration. So let's start there. I'll grab one of our alphas at random and pull that out to the side here and click on Snapshot. And you'll see that the geometry will extrude to the depth of whatever your currently selected subtool is. In this case, our sphere. And it will append this geometry as a new subtool. Now you may have noticed in Spotlight that there is a brand new feature called snapping points. You can now snap the Spotlight tool to the center of your alpha, and your geometry will have some snapping points as well. Let's start by making a duplicate of one of our alphas. So I'll simply select one of these alphas and click the duplicate button in the bottom right hand corner. Click on the paint tool up top, and then click and drag until we get a blank template. Make sure to click the paint icon after you are finished. Now, let's grab a square alpha and snap it to the center of our template. Now let's take a look at a few of the options available in the lower left-hand corner. Extend is a really cool feature, and it works from wherever your spotlight puck is located. Go ahead and click and drag around and play with a few of these different options. Next, we want to click this union button down here to append that alpha to our blank template. Then we can take this alpha again, move it around a little bit, rotate it maybe, and click the union button yet again to combine these two alphas. Another new feature that is really nice is that you can hold the shift key to constrain movement to only one axis, or you can hold the shift key to snap to every five degrees of rotation. And if you mess something up, they've added the ability to undo with control Z, of course. Now I know what you're thinking, that union button, hey, that's pretty cool, but can you subtract alphas from one another? Well, yes. <laughs> All you have to do is line up your alpha and hold the Alt key while clicking the Union button. Easy enough. And now let's delete that alpha, get it out of the way, and clear up our screen space. Some other cool features, you can flip the alpha simply by clicking these two buttons, and you can mirror your alpha by Shift-clicking or Alt-clicking, depending on the direction you want to mirror. Now where this tool really starts shining is when you combine it with Live Booleans. So let's turn that on up at the top left-hand corner of your screen. Just go ahead and click on Live Boolean. And then we'll align a new alpha here really quick. Maybe make a couple quick changes. And then this time, I'm going to hold the Alt key while clicking Snapshot 3D. This will create a mesh already set to subtract over here in the Subtool palette. And you can see the effects of that with Live Boolean. And what's great here is that the mesh is already the appropriate length here to subtract all the way through. And again, the depth of those extrusions are based on your currently selected subtool when you click the Snapshot 3D button. The geometry that you're going to get from these snapshots isn't going to be super clean, but you do get some nice polygroups and creased edges. So there is a lot of room to play around here and create some complex shapes very quickly. 
And then in combination with the new Zero Mesher 3.0, we can get even better results in a very short amount of time. I can't wait to see what you guys do with these new tools. And if you found this video helpful, check out gumroad.com slash Folygon, where I have even more tutorials, courses, brushes, materials, all the stuff that I use professionally for my work. Check it out. There's a link down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.